What up, y'all? DJ Rob Swift, a.k.a. Mr. Brolic Arm. See the peak there. Today, we're going to talk about 16th note triplet scribble scratches. Okay? That's a mouthful. So the record we're going to use for today's challenge is... Sucker MCs, Run DMC, QU. So the challenge specifically is can you add 16th note scribble scratches to every snare that you hear in that intro drum roll. So this is what I want you guys to practice. If we were talking eighth note, you'd do a baby scratch on every snare. All right, so the baby would be the and of every quarter note. So for example, if you were doing baby scratches on every snare, the baby scratch would land on the and of every quarter note. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. Make sense? Now that's easy. Made popular by Jam Master J. That's a straightforward technique that DJs apply a lot on this specific song. But then cats like Total Eclipse, come on, come on, come on, come, come on. the more modern battle DJs like Manuel, are now adding 16th note triplet scribbles instead of 8th note baby scratches to snare fills or other parts within a measure of a beat. So what I want you guys to practice is on your strong hand, in my case, the right hand, you're gonna loop the drum roll on Sucker MCs. So that when you drop it, the snares just keep rolling. Now you have a continuous snare drum roll that never stops and you could just practice your hand techniques on the record, all right? Let's talk about what you're doing with regards to manipulating the record. Be careful about lifting your fingers away from the vinyl. A lot of DJs, students of mine even, have this bad habit of releasing and lifting away from the record. So, if they were to attempt the eighth note baby scratch on every snare, it would look like this. See, so you're lifting away, and in doing so, you're losing more control of the record. The minute you lift from the vinyl, you're not in control. So, the key is to lift with your fingers pointed down so that you could regain control quicker than if your fingers were pointed up or away from the record. So if you see, I barely come off the record and when I do lift off, my fingers are still pointed downward to make it easier for me to catch the record and regain control and get into my baby scratch. What I want you guys to practice is adding 16th note triplet scribble scratches, not babies, scribbles to every snare. The 
the longer you could go, the more you've mastered it, okay? So balance is also important with regards to this advanced technique. What I mean by that is you're not just going to favor your dominant hand when you're practicing and training with regards to this technique. You need to also train your weak hand. In my case, it's my left hand. In other words, use it or lose it. If you don't use your left hand, if you don't train your weak hand, you're not going to be able to transfer the backspin over to the opposite turntable. So you're going to probably do that 16th note scribble scratch on your strong hand and then on your weak hand just let the snares play out which to me is corny you want to be able to do it on both hands okay so much in the same way you're gonna drop once you get used to executing the 16th note scribble scratches with your weak hand then you're gonna practice putting both moves together within a backspin. Take the loops off. Backspin. And add your scribbles. So that's the challenge. Make sure that you add that 16th note scribble scratch to every snare on both sides. If you could do that, that's going to really help you with your juggles with regards to hand technique, hand placement on the record, not lifting your fingers up. You have no time. You got to point your fingers down to the record. Have fun with the challenge, man. Post up your videos. Let's see who gets this. Peace out, y'all. Brolic Arm, signing off.